Hello, and welcome to an episode of Crossword Radio. This is your enigmatic host, The Brain, and this uh, is not a crossword. <laughs> this is another game. Um, it is called Momono Sweeper, and it is a pretty interesting Minesweeper variant. It's another one of my uh, favorite puzzle games is Minesweeper, besides crosswords. Uh, also grid-based. Um, and the way that traditional Minesweeper works, of course, is you have numbers on a grid, and the number tells you how many mines in the surrounding area are, how many squares that that surround that square are mines. In fact, let's pull one up real quick. I'll just open up Minesweeper online real quick here. How's that look? That looks fine. So if I click, right, this one is telling us that in the surrounding eight squares, there's one mine. Obviously, it's that one. All right, and then we can, you know, play in Minesweeper here. And you go through, and this is how it, Minesweeper traditionally works, is that the number indicates the number of surrounding mines. So that's regular Minesweeper. This is Momono Sweeper. Now, obviously it's in uh, Japanese, and this is what they claim to be sort of a combination between Minesweeper and an RPG. It isn't really. Um, I'll do my best to explain how it works. Uh, but let's get into it. Uh, I will provide a link in the description for where to find it. So, let's do normal game here. Let me check the stream. Yeah, we can center that a little bit. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay. So this is Momono Sweeper. And first off, let's get some exposed area, just like a regular Minesweeper grid. Okay. So this time, in basically the way that it works is each mine has a value between 1 and 5. There are five different levels of mine, as you can see down here at the bottom. Um, and this, in fact, tells you there's 33. In this grid, there's 33 level 1 mines, 27 level 2 mines, etc. Um, and the numbers, rather than telling you the amount of mines in their surrounding 8 squares, tell you the total value of the uh, mines in their surrounding area. And the way that it works, the way to win is to break all the mines, is to open all the mine squares. However, in order to open a mine square without taking damage, you need to be of the same level of that mine. There's a way the damage works is a little bit complicated to ex describe, but it's not terribly important. You can see up at the top here we have a level HP experience and this stands for needed experience, how much experience until the next level. So we're level one, that means we can break level one mines without taking any damage. Um, uh, so we can, just like in Minesweeper, you can flag squares, however, you can flag them with all the values from one to five, because that's all the values that the mine can be. So just like a one in a traditional Minesweeper would tell you in this corner arrangement, but there's a mine here. This is telling us that there's a mine here. However, it is a value 4 based on this square. So this is a 4 mine right here. Uh, so that means that this 4 is complete. So we can clear all of its surrounding squares. And now this 4, once again, is complete. So we can clear all of its surrounding squares. Um, yeah. So, we're level 1, and every time, and I, f I f also forgot to mention, when you open a mine, you get an experience based on the level of that mine. So, when you open a level 1 mine like this, we got 1 experience, right? And we need 10 to get to level 2. When we open a level 2 mine, we'll get 2 experience, etc. So, one of the other things you can do is, now that we've opened this, this level 1 mine, we've defeated this monster, we can click it to basically get its number. So in this 
surrounding um, squares, there is five. There's a, a total value of five. But let's keep going here. Again, we're only right now looking for uh, level one mines that we can break. So this one is complete from this guy. Okay. Now, I, at the top of my head right now, I only see we have another one right here because this five already has a four. So between these two squares, there's one more level. And there he is. And this two needs one more, so there's another one. And let's look at their numbers. Oh, that's a one, right? And that's a four. Okay, so this one is complete. This sees this one here. So there's that. This five, four, and five, that's complete, so that isn't a mine. And we'll, let's continue. The six needs two more, so there's that two. That completes this six, but also this two. This two is complete, as is this two. This three sees one already, so it needs a two. So now this two is complete. Now this one we can do, this two we can do. This three we can also clear out around it, as well as this three. This is a two. This six tells us and already sees three, and this four needs three more, so between these two there's a total value of three, which will satisfy this six. So this square is safe. This three is complete, so this square is safe. This eight sees three already, so it needs to see five more. There's a five. And this nine needs to see three more. One, two, three. Oops. Okay. Let's do this 12 real quick. Seven and four is 11, so this 12 needs one more. So that's, oh, free. And that means this six is now complete, so those are safe. This three is complete. This two needs one more. Uh, and this three needs one more. And look, you can see that we have nine experience. Once we clear the last one that this three needs, boom, look at that flash. Okay, that flash means we are now level two, and we are now safe to break level two mines. So here, let's do this. Bink, bink, bink. That's a level two. Um, this two is complete. And we'll go through, you know, this process, uh, opening and revealing squares, um, only opening mines that are safe for us to open until we open enough that we level up and then we can open the next level of mine, etc. Typically by the time you get to level four uh, in the last two levels, four and five, almost the entire grid is cleared at, at that point. But let's keep going. So I can see right away we'll have another two that this four can expose. The six, two, four, five, so that's a one. Uh, what else can we do? This 2 is complete. This 7 is complete. This 7 needs 2 more. This 6 needs 2 more. That means this 4 is complete. Here's a 2. This 6 needs 2 more. That's safe for us to break. This 3 tells us this is a 3. And the 7 now sees 5, so this is safe for us to break. This 3 is complete. We can open this 2. This three needs one more, so we can do that. This five sees three, so it needs two more in here, so we can break those. This four needs one more. There we go, this three is complete. This one is complete. There we go. Let's open up more of the grid for us. Keep in mind we're still level two. Um, so that two, we can clear this four. That's a two, that's a one. This is safe. That's a one. This is three to f complete this four. This one is complete. Let's look at this. This is a three, so we can clear that. This four is complete. Let's look at some of these. This six is complete. This is a six and sees two, so there's four here. We don't really know how that's distributed. <coughs> mm, bless you. Bless me. Excuse me. What am I trying to say? Okay. This five is complete. This five needs one more. 
So now we know that this is a 3 in order to complete this 6. Now this 4 is complete. This 4 tells us there's a 4 here. And this is clear. And the 7 tells us this is a 3. This 6 here sees 4 already, so that's a 2. And this 5 is complete, and that's a 3. This 5 is complete, now sees these 2. In fact, actually I should have clicked this earlier. This one mine here um, sees 4, and it already sees 2 here, so that's safe for us to open. Now this 8 sees 2, 4, 5, 8, so that's complete. That 5 is complete. This 5 is complete. This 9 sees 5, so it needs 4 more. 1, 2, 3, 4. That 4 is complete, and that 1 is a 1. Um, this 5 is complete. This 9 is complete. This 7 needs 3 more. This 4 is complete. That 3 is complete. That 3 is complete. This 3 is complete. This is a 4. Okay, we can't break any of those yet, but we can mark them and come back later once we do know the answers. Once we are high enough level, I should say. Okay, let's see if we can finish off this little middle section here. This 10 sees 5 already, so that means this is a 5. Now this 5 is complete. This 4 needs to see 3 more, so that's a 3. And now this 4 is complete, and this 3 is also complete. This 9 sees 5, so it needs to see 4 more. 1, 2, 3, 4. And this 10 needs to see 5 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's just do a double check on this 19. That's 10 and 7. 17 and 2 is 19. There we go. Uh, let's work our way up here, because I can see uh, we have some 2s that we can clear. Ooh, there we go. That was us leveling up to level 3. So first thing that's always nice to do is to go back to what you've already marked as 3 and hit those. This is blank, because this 7 is complete. 2, 4, 7. And now we can safely open three mines. So, for example, this one. Once you get to level 3, you can do a lot of just kind of clicking and clearing, because you're going to be pretty safe. 2, 3, 4. We're not level 4 yet. Let's be careful there. That's a 3. That needs one more. Uh, this is a 1 here. This is blank. This is a 1. This is a 5, so let's not be too hasty to finish this 10. This 12 sees 5, 8, and 3 is 11, so that's a 1. 2, 3, 4, so this is a 3. Uh, that's a 3. This 3 is complete. The 6 is complete. This is a 5. The 6 is complete. This 8. Eight is complete as well as this eight, so those are all good to clear. The seven needs two more, so we can start just clicking around. And that's one thing: <clears throat> once you have a couple of levels, if the number minus the numbers that it has already exposed is less than your current level, you can just clear all around it, knowing that you'll be safe. So, like the six already sees a three, so there's three between here, no matter how that 3 is distributed, we can click it safely. So let's just do that. Same with the 7 here. This 4. Hmm. Uh, this 5 is complete. That 5 needs 3 more. This 4 is complete. That 4 needs 1. 3, 2, 3. So this is a 4, which we are not level 4 yet. So that's complete. 5, that's a 4. It's a 2. It's a clear. 4, 5, 6, 7. So there's one more for that 8. That 1 is complete. We need the, We can safely clear these 3s. This 8 is complete. This 8 needs 4. No, sorry. This 8 needs 2 more. It sees this guy here. So 4. Four and six, so this is a two. Um, 
we can see the six already sees two here. So whatever, whatever completes this four will also complete this six. So this is free. And again, however, this six will be completed. There's four between these two. We'll complete these, this four. So those two are free. In fact, this two tells us that that is free. So that's our four right there. We can clear around it. That's a two. Sorry, that's a blank. This two is complete. This two is complete. This is a four. One, two, three, four. We have one, four, five. That's a three. Eight, eleven. That's blank. That's clear. This is a one. This is a four. This is blank. This is a three. Blank, blank. That's a two. Three this is a five. One, two, three, four, five. This is a three. So and we have four between here. So we're not we can't pick between these yet. But we know there's a total of four. It might in fact be the case that there's two twos. Um, or it could be a single four, I'm not sure. Um but we'll come back to that when we have to. If we are you know, stuck, we're still at level three and we don't have enough left mines to get us to level four, then that will likely mean that there's two here. So these two is two twos. But I don't think we'll get there. So we already are at the point where we only need five more um levels or five more experience to get to level four. So this three needs two more. Uh two, five, six. This eight needs two more. Two, four, seven. That seven is complete. Two, three. This five is complete. The six is complete. One. There we go. Now we're level four. This, and also I can tell this is a four here. So now at this point, everything is pretty much exposed, and it's just a matter of clicking through. Uh, right, and we know that there's four down here. There we go. And now the fives. There we are. That was Momono Sweeper on the normal level. Uh, let's do one more. It definitely took me a couple of games to kind of fully wrap my head around the way that it works. Um, this is one thing. Uh, the board genera generation algorithm is not amazing, so sometimes it, it might take a few tries to get a good board going. Okay. Oh, come on. Let's see. Sometimes I find it helpful to just click around a bit. There we go. Now you can see we took a decent amount of damage there. We're already down to 2 HP. I guess I could briefly explain how the damage system works. Um, when you click on a mine or a monster, you are you deal your level in damage to it, and then it deals its level in damage to you, and then it goes back and forth until one of you is dead. But you go first. Um, so, like if I were to click this three, I would deal one damage to it, so it would have two health left, but then it would do three back to me and kill me. Um, Really, I can't. At 2 HP, I'm essentially... can no longer make any more mistakes. It's kind of nice when... if you aren't in this situation right away... Um, that you have some ability to make some mistakes. But, let's see what we can do with only 2 HP. So, we have 3 here. Now this 3 is complete. This 4 is complete. That 3 is complete. This is a 1. We can see, you know, the f again, when you're still level one, the first thing you want to do is just find ones and just click all around them because that's free experience right there. Okay. Now, one of the other consequences of us taking a lot of that damage is we actually leveled up to level two a lot faster. If you are really going for super fast times, that can be a deliberate strategy of, of taking some damage early on to, to get you over a level. So now we're already level two. So, that's a 1, that's a 2, uh, this 5 is complete, this 4 is complete, 
This four needs one more. This this is a one here. This two is complete. That's a three, but that's a two to satisfy this five. Now this five is complete. This one is complete. There we go. We got a nice open space now. We should be, I think, okay to go to the end now, but let's do it anyway. Now, this five, whatever satisfies this five will also satisfy this five, so that is uh, safe. That's a one. So here's our five. This three needs two more. This six needs three more. This four needs one more. So two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. That's a two. That's a three. This five is complete. This three is complete. One of these is a two, so we can click there. These three needs a one, so we're safe to start clicking around it. Again, this five will be satisfied by whatever satisfies this five. So this is safe. Those are safe to click. And now that we're level two, just like when we were level one, you can just start find any ones and click all around them until you, you hit the mine. We can now do that with twos. If you see a two, you can just start clicking around it. Two, three. This is a four to satisfy this six or five, whichever one you want to take it. And now this five is complete. Now this eight needs to see four more between here. Again, however they are distributed, it will complete this eight. This five needs two more. This five is complete. So here's our four. This four tells us that this is four. And now this eight is complete. This five is complete. This nine needs to see five more. So one, two, three, four, five. Now all of these nines that are around here are all complete. These sevens need to see two more from this five. So we can click there safely. This nine is complete. There's another two. Uh, just a moment. Okay. Sorry about that brief interruption. So, where were we? Um, this two is complete up here. This four needs another two, so we can click that. And there we go. Now we're level three. So we can start revealing three mines. That's a five. This is a four. I'm sorry, this is a five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That nine is complete. The seven needs three more, so we can click. This is a three. Three, four, five. This five needs three more. Nope, it already sees it's three, never mind. Eight, yeah. Nothing helpful in there. Five, that's a three. That three is complete. This three is complete. We can just start revealing here one that's another four needs two more but we can see what I'm doing here is two, three four this you know again this six means that the total value of the mines around it is six it already sees four so we need two more and because we're level three we can just click through uh, so this tells us that this is two, right? This is, sees four, but this sees six. So there's four here, but this still needs to see six, and there's only one more square left for it to see. So we know that this is a two. And this is a four. One, two, three, four, and that's blank. Two, nine, one here. Three, one, this is five. This is clear. That's three. One, two, three, four. Six, ten, that's a one. Uh, yeah, four, seven. This is seven here, totals to seven. So that 
is either a 5, 2, 3, 4, regardless. We don't want to mess with that yet. We'll come back to it if we need to later to finish this out. 7, so this is a, a 4. That's a 3. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this eight is complete. That's complete. That needs three more. There's a three here. We're all good there. That's four, eight. Okay. Five. Uh, let's see, two, three. So that's safe to break. Five. That's safe to break. Three. Three. Eight. So, shoot. We do need to come back here. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Whew. I was going to say we don't have any way to determine which one of these is the 3 and which is the 4. So basically here's the situation. We're level 3. Um, it feels like actually we're missing something. I'm not sure. Let's come back to this. So we're level 3. We, we And we only have 2 HP left. So we cannot break a level 4 mine and, and live. Um, <clears throat> so this 14 will help us determine how these are arranged. So this 14 sees 5, 8, and 3 is 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's a 3. So we can break it. There we go. And now we're level 4. Let's finish off whatever this one is. Um, 14 sees 4 and 6 that's 10 so that's another 4 okay and again once you get to these last two levels it's basically just a matter of clearing the screen with what you've already marked there we go so that was two games of Momono Sweeper now we were playing normal there. You can see there are different uh, variants here. There's easy, normal, huge uh, is just a very large map. Ooh, let's zoom out a little bit on this one. And you can see instead of going to level 5 hmm, sorry I sneezed again. Instead of going up to level 5 the mines in this map go up to level 9 um, extreme is the same size map as normal, but there's a lot more mines. Look, you can see there's 25 each of all the different kinds of mines, as opposed to on normal. You know, 33, 27, 20, 13, and only 6 level 5s. Then we have blind, which is where you actually can't break any mines uh, in the blind variant. Uh, you can see we're level zero, so even if we click a level one mine, we're dead. Um, so the point is to uh, to clear the board, but only using flags, basically, without revealing any mines. Um, so that's blind. Then you have huge extreme and huge blind. Okay. So that is Momono Sweeper, very fun Android. Uh, it's Looking at this down here, there is an Android version um, that's free. Um, the Momono Sweeper is a very fun uh, Minesweeper variant. I've been having a lot of a lot of fun with it lately. Thought I'd show it off and try to explain how it works, since it's not super obvious. And of course, the website is in all Japanese. So for uh, my non-Japanese viewers, which I think is probably all of you, uh, could be helpful. Uh, I will again. I will leave a link in the description. All right, that'll do it for the brain. Until next time, stay safe out there. Bye.